Welcome to this lesson video. Um, today's topic is about how to draw electric field patterns. Now this topic is under physics. Uh, the, uh, the, the chapter is electrostatics, electric field. So in most cases, uh, learners, they struggle when it comes to drawing the electric field patterns. Uh, normally this question, the mark allocation of these questions is two marks to three marks. But then for this type of easy questions, we should make sure that we collect all the marks. So I will be stating few few errors that we normally do when it comes to drawing this electric field patterns. So after watching this video, the lecture goal, you should be able to draw the electric field pattern without omitting any mistakes. Now let us start. As we all know that we have positive charge and negative charge, and then we normally represent an object having a charge as a sphere or a simple circle when it comes to drawing and then the charge is represented inside the circle it can be positive or negative so let us start with the positively charged sphere how do we draw electric field pattern of this type of a sphere now we simply draw a circle we put a positive charge inside the circle and then we draw lines like this you don't have to mess it up you simply use a ruler and then you draw it like this unfortunately unfortunately i don't have a ruler with me but you can see the sense of how we draw this and then from there remember for positive charge always remember this it's a way and then for negatively charged is towards now what is the meaning of this away and towards now it simply means that electric field patterns it consists of lines and arrows now an arrow for positively charged it's either it will be towards or away you see what i'm referring to so for positively charged think about away from the sphere so it will be like this well normally what what learners do you'd find that they draw something like this then it's a bit messy and then they put positive and then you, you don't have to to mess it up like this simply use a ruler draw it nicely the way it is now let us talk about common mistakes i think i also made a mistake here now for exam purposes i'm talking about fet bands from grade 10 to 12 what they normally do is that just make sure that between the line and the sphere there's no gap let me quickly show you what I mean it must not be something like this can you see a gap here if there's a gap between one of these lines and the circumference of the circle just know that your diagram will be wrong and then another mistake that learners normally omit just make sure that these lines, these lines, they don't pass through the circumference of the circle. If it passes through the circumference of the circle, it becomes wrong. So you just make sure that it's just on top of the circumference. There's no space and it doesn't pass through the circumference. Using a rule. Oh no. Okay. it's not difficult you should do it like this and then if it's a positive you simply put away if it's a negative towards now let us look at the negatively charged it's a cycle simply put the arrows
this is negative charge then for negative charge it's towards so it means the arrows will face towards the second then if it's like this I I guarantee you that you'll collect all the marks now let us look at a situation whereby we have something like this two spheres it's positive positive you'll come back to that one another situation whereby we have something like this positive negative um negative 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 positive so let us start with this one how do we draw electric field pattern now remember the behavior of charges like charges they repel unlike charges they attract so in this case you simply draw your lines this side and also for this one and then from there since these are like charges it means the force between these two charges it's repulsion so the electric field lines will bend actually let me it will bend like this and then remember for positive charges it's what towards or away it's away so you put your arrows then that's it let us look at the next one okay let me quickly raise this here okay now these are like charges Errors. and then this since these charges are unlike charges so there's force of attraction so the electric field pattern will connect the two charges actually the two spheres then for the positively charged sphere it's away so we put the arrows like this for the negatively charged is towards you put the arrows like this now what about the the lines which connect the two spheres it's simply from the positive to negative for the positive it's while it's away for the negative it's towards so the arrows will be like this you can see that this electric field patterns they are neat you don't have to mess it up let us look at this as usual you simply put your lines Oh no, remember this is um this is light charges, so it means it's force of repulsion. And then since the both of these spheres they are negatively charged, 
it means it's away actually it's towards I'm sorry so the arrows will be towards now this is how we do the electric field patterns this is how we draw it so be careful when it comes to the, the the mistakes that you normally do just make sure you do the correct thing and then all the marks will be uh, collected this is Wahula SJ thank you very much